Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review on Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This is a young adult contemporary novel that follows Emmy, who is an intern production designer. Her brother, who is also in the film industry, kind of got her her gig. And it is her first gig, and she is designing a room for a really good scene in a movie, and she is on the hunt for the perfect couch. So her and her friend, best friend, might I add, Charlotte, head off to this estate sale to look for the perfect couch and other items that they may need for the set. And while they're there, they go ahead and pick up a vinyl. Well, later on in that vinyl, they wind up finding a letter written by the person or famous actor who died to a certain someone. And these girls get very passionate about finding who this certain someone is to deliver this certain letter to this certain someone. Along with the journey, Emmy is also struggling with the breakup of her girlfriend Morgan and also her brother leaves the country for the summer and leaves the apartment to her but gives her a mission to make something amazing happen in that apartment. And then things are just blossom from there. <laughs> the main thing that I loved about the story was Emmy's job being a production designer. It made me realize exactly how much hard work and how much people it takes to make a movie. Because we all know the director, we all know the producers, the actors, the lighting guys, whatever, but nobody really pays attention to the set designers. Like, you know, like who bought that photo frame, who put those half-eaten apples on the cabinet, like nobody really, like I've never, or at least I never really like took time and watched that, but ever since I read this book I do take time and I look in the background and look at just different things that the set designer has put there. So that was a really cool thing in this book, it made me really like pay attention to simple things like that. I don't know. Kind of cray. Another thing that I really liked about this book is there was no drama over being a lesbian. A lot of books that I read where the character is gay, um, there's drama about that, you know, whether it's the parents freaking out, the friends freaking out, the friends not being your friends anymore, the main character freaking out. Like, this one, they just acted normal. Like, it was normal life, no big deal, the way it should be done because it is a normal thing, you know? Like, it's it's not a big deal. And I love the fact that the author made it not a big deal. This book had a lot of diversity in it because not only is Emmy a lesbian, but she is also biracial, which is a good thing. We need more books with diversity in them. We need them. Keep doing it, authors. The thing that really bugged me is you don't know that Emmy is biracial until over halfway into the book and I think that when authors don't describe the main protagonist at the towards the beginning I'm automatically picturing someone in my now I was picturing this girl on the cover to be Emmy but um you know halfway through the book I had to kind of change the girl in my head to a totally different new character so it's kind of irritating when authors don't put the description towards the beginning of the book is it just me or is that everybody out there because it might just be me. Let's talk about the characters for a few seconds. First we have our main protagonist, Emmy, whom one, I really, really loved her as the main protagonist because she is such a passionate person. She is passionate about her job. She is passionate about her love life. She is passionate about this journey that she goes on. She, her being so passionate makes you love her more and makes you get to know her and understand her so much more. And that is such an important thing when it comes to reading. I want to know the main character like the back of my hand. You know, like, it's just such a good thing, and I loved that about Emmy, that she was just such a passionate person, and I think that might be one of the main reasons why I was so passionate about her job, because she was so passionate about her job, and it just, it made for a really good main character. And then we have Charlotte, the best friend. Hello, she is such a good best friend, so supportive. It's like she knows 
how to handle every situation for her friend. She knows when to step up. She knows when to back away. She is such a good friend to Emmy. Emmy, you are, if you're out there, Emmy, if there is an Emmy out there, you are very blessed to have Charlotte as your best friend. You better keep her. You better be the two grannies in the nursing home that's playing whatever kind of chess, whatever kind of games they play in the nursing home that's hitting on the nurses. And then we have Ava. Ava, Ava, Ava. Hmm, Ava. I don't know, like, I'm still, like, I really loved Ava as a character, but there was a little pinch of her that kind of worked my nerves, but other than that, I still really loved Ava. This book had really good character development. A lot of contemporary books don't really dive into too much character development. It kind of heads off towards the drama or the love. This one had really good character development really good pacing really good characters I just I think the characters are what stole the characters in Emmy's job is kind of what stole this book for me if there was one word that I could use to sum up this book I would choose beautiful because not only is this book beautiful on the inside it is beautiful on the outside as well the writings beautiful the characters beautiful the covers beautiful Everything about this book is just so beautiful. I gave this book four and a half out of five stars. I loved it. I really recommend it to all of you guys. You should totally check it out. And um, that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye. Back hurts. I'm like slouching. I'm like the hunchback of Notre Dame. I need to work on my posture. <laughs>